Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tech Talk. Uh, Tech Talk is a show where we talk about new and exciting things happening in the field of technology. We talk about the companies behind those movements and some of the people that are making things happen. So today we are very lucky to have as our guest, we've got Matthew Bordeaux with Robert Half. So Matthew, welcome, thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you, thanks for having me today. Yeah, so, so tell us a little bit about Robert Half, especially when it comes to the area of technology. So for those that may not be familiar with the company. Sure. So, I mean, Robert Half has been, uh, oh gosh, we've been in the market now for over 70 years. I mean, the company itself uh, started back in 1948. Uh, when you look at Robert Half Technology, we are the uh, one of the global leaders in providing IT talent in both the uh, contract space as well as contract to hire project-based initiatives. When I look at the local market, Jacksonville, uh, our group is focused on IT initiatives such as, uh, you know, cybersecurity, Sure. Network security, technical support, software development, uh, multi-platform systems integration, just for a few examples. Yeah, that stuff's growing like crazy right now, right? So it's, we, it's nuts. We work a lot with the CIO community here in town. Like one sure. of the things we find, probably the, the most challenging part of their job is just finding talent. One hundred percent. Yeah, it's one of those things where the demand so outweighs the available talent right now. So how mm -hmm. how are you guys helping companies address that? Sure. I mean, this is <clears throat> the market right now is is a very unique situation for the first time uh, in the history of our country you've got more jobs available than people, right? right? So, Good situation. Yeah, yeah, you think about that. I mean, unemployment yeah. rates, you look at the national average, the, uh, the national average, but then when you start to dig into IT positions, you're looking at in some, some situations less than 2%. Mm -hmm. And then when you really start to get into some of those more niche, niche type roles, uh, you can be less than 1%. Right, so, I, th I think the challenge with some of that too is some of the specialties that we're seeing now with AI and AWS certifications correct. and things like cybersecurity, there's just not a lot of people with a long track record of experience there, right? So, it's, so finding that young talent in particular is right. so key right now. Well, it's, it's, it's a combination of finding the talent, but then understanding that you have to move quickly, right? right. If right. you actually find someone yeah. you like, I mean, yeah. back in the day, maybe you could wait and see a few extra candidates. Is this the right guy? And kind of compare and contrast. Now, if you find something you like, you have to move quickly just based on unemployment rates. Right, so how do you do that though? But as a, as a wise business person, right, you don't want to rush into hiring an employee. I mean, they, sure. they tell you kind of, you know, hire slow, fire fast, kind of thing. But, but so you want to vet that, that potential candidate. Sure. At the same time, like you said, buyer's market right now. Right. You know, finding those guys and locking them down quick is important. So how do you balance those two? Well, and I, I can relate this back to Robert Half. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, one of the things I think makes our company very unique. Uh, when you look at, our ability to find a custom fit um, for, a, for a client or for a specific solution that they have on a project-based need. You know, our ability to vet these candidates up front. We start with a phone screen, then we go into an interview, we have technical assessments, uh, we're digging into testimonials, we're doing, digging into reference checks, really making sure not only on the intake process we understand what your need is, but also vetting the candidate on the front end and making sure that, uh, you know, they're set and ready to move when yeah. you are, you know? So one of the other things that people are really excited about mm -hmm. is, the, is AI, right? So there's a lot of great prospects of what it's going to be able to do, how it's going to benefit companies. Um, so there's, there's amazing potential there and obviously need for jobs. There's the other side of that, which is people a little bit nervous about right. Hey, right. what's this going to do and affect my career? Am I going to be replaced by a robot sure. or Alexa is going to take my job? Sure. Do you special? What, is, what does that look like to you guys? So uh, Robert Half just did a, we just did a recent study um, on, I guess, AI anxiety. Right. Uh, yeah. what, what's that doing with the marketplace? How do that people feel that's going to affect uh, their jobs? And, you know, the reality of this is the AI piece, uh, the Internet of Things, I mean, what you're looking at is, uh, yeah, it's, there could be some potential replacement of some of the more mundane or operational tasks. Yeah. 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 But, again, whenever there's any type of job eliminate, there's always job creation that comes with that. Right. So positions like this, it's actually going to elevate the type of roles you have that involve more macro level, more critical level mm -hmm. thinking. Um, that's going to come with higher salaries. Right, and then remember, when you're dealing with robots, ro robots lack uh, empathy, uh, emotional intelligence, compassion. Sure. So you still need that within the business in order to have it thrive. Yeah. Um, so my recommendation for for people that are number one, you need to embrace technology. Right, it's not going anywhere. Embrace sure. the technology, but then if you're focused on your own personal career development. Um, again, more of that macro level critical thinking coupled with being able to communicate yeah. and having more of that collaborative type effort. 
What's the best advice you would give to a, to a technology leader with a company that, you know, a lot of companies are doing, especially in this market, are doing some really ambitious things. Mm -hmm. uh, they're trying to grow and scale really fast. Um, but again, trying to just meet that need. So what recommendations would you give to somebody that's in charge of a department of, of IT staff? Well, again, <laughs> you look at where the unemployment rates are. So the days of just posting a position mm -hmm. and thinking you're going to get 20, 30 it's just resumes, it's just, it's just not going to happen, right? right? It's just, that's not going to happen. I look at Robert Half, we have a database of candidates that's over 16 million candidates. Wow. So when you talk about like a referral-based network, where we're going right now, we're starting with our database, we're pushing on the candidates we represent. I mean, candidates within the local marketplace, they, they want to work. They're highly mm -hmm. skilled. They want to work with a company like HALF, uh, specifically because we're looking to advance their career as well. We're investing in them with our online courses, you know, helping them build their technical acumen and also marketing them out into the local market space. Okay. So as you guys look at, at yourself versus your competition, I mean, what mm -hmm. are your biggest differentiators? Uh, well, again, I talked a little bit about, uh, you know, the, the database that we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a global footprint with localized expertise. And what I mean by that, I mean, Robert Half Technology, you're talking about over 100 offices. But within the local expertise, I've got guys on the ground that are, you know, they're, they're, they're branding themselves within the marketplace. They're pushing extremely hard, making sure that the candidates are vetted. Uh, they have that local presence. People know them within sure. the community, as uh, both the client side and a candidate side. And you guys have made some big investments here in the community. I know you're sure. a big part of the uh, Tech Coast Conference that's coming yeah. up. Yeah, one hundred percent. August twenty first. Really so. excited about that. Yeah, it should be great. It sounds yeah. like it's going to be bigger and better than ever. I know the mm -hmm. the show is at the uh, at the Jaguar Stadium, the TIA that's right. Bank yes. Field yes. For this year. So it'll be a cool venue to yeah. come out to. Uh, so talk about your guys' role in that. And what should we be doing with that show? You know, <clears throat> for us, it's it's again. I go back to that education piece, making sure that the clients understand how hard it is to find that qualified talent, whether, and again, I go back to what's hot in the market right now, whether it's software development, cybersecurity, cloud computing, cloud architecture. I mean, everybody right now is looking to uh, push their data to the cloud, protect their data with all the right. attacks companies have had with cybersecurity. Uh, I mean, that's the focus, but as in order to fill these positions, you have to have a game plan up front. Yeah. You have to understand, okay, here's what I'm looking for. Here's the specific projects that we need to fill. This is how we're going to get these positions filled. And I highly recommend you work with a firm like Robert Half. Um, you know, based on the database we have and our ability to fill these positions and fill them quickly. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you guys are doing some amazing stuff. You'd obviously be a good partner for, for any business out there. So sure. for people that see this and want to learn more about you guys and find you, where can they find you at? Uh, I mean, I would recommend going to our website, uh, roberthalf.com. You can go there and you can pull up technology. You can do a search uh, to find out which locations are close to you. And, uh, you know, the phone numbers are listed there, and we'd be happy to help out. That's great. Well, Matt, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having it. me. And, guys, thanks as always for tuning in to another episode of Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.